Hello my loves, it's your girl Mariela and today I will be making a video on my favorites for the last two months which would be July and August. Really quick, I'm going to talk about skincare. Now I have been trying for the last few months the Neutrogena Oil Control, Acne Control Toner. I have featured that on my favorites. I think I believe it was March and April favorites. And I loved it. I had, you know, nothing, gets no, no, no issues whatsoever with it. It did help me, but I wanted to try something different. And this came from one of my subscribers. It's Bless Diva 526 Hey girl, if you're watching, I haven't seen you in a long time, by the way. I hope you continue making videos. She had recommended this Dickinson Original Witch Hazel Pore Perfecting Toner. And one thing that really got me into trying this was the fact that it was 100% all natural, which I have been trying to try, you know, other things that are 100% natural that weren't so expensive. I got this on Walgreens. I believe it was originally like around $6, but believe me, you get a lot of it. You get 16 ounces, which I think it's great for your money. You can find it on sale, which that's where I got it from. I paid three dollars for it. It says that it's a non-drying for all skin types. Gently cleanses and conditions pores to maintain clear, smooth, and balanced skin. And also, there's no harsh chemicals, obviously. It refines pores, removes and controls oil, and soothes irritation, and it locks in moisture, which um, I believe it does the job. It does what it says. The one thing I'm not really feeling is the scent. It smells <laughs> kind of gross. I mean, it's not something that you're gonna go and die, but you know, I'm, I'm being a little bit over dramatic up in here. But it does smell like a natural product that you would try. I know that was the one down thing for me, but I've been using this for the last two months and I don't mind it as much as in the beginning. Like in the beginning I was like this. I was grabbing my little cotton ball, cotton pad, you know, pour some of that toner and literally go like this. I would do that and I know I'm a cry baby, I know. Shame on me, but I got used to it now, so I don't mind it as much. And also I want to try the fact that it has witch hazel. There, I've heard a lot of people talking about it and how good it is for your skin and all that stuff. So I figured, you know, let's give this a try. And so far I have been very, very happy about it with the only exception of the scent. But other than that, I would definitely repurchase this. And I think they also have uh, facial cleansers which I think I may want to give it a try too. So I would definitely recommend this for you guys. If you guys weren't interested in trying, you know, all natural 100% products, this would be one that you would definitely not regret. So in terms of makeup, I would say I have been using a lot of stuff for foundation. And one of them is my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. And this is in the color 006 and deep. This is what it looks like. It's just a stick concealer. You can definitely twist it. Very, very smooth as you can see. It's creamy. And also I forgot, it's definitely SPF 20, which is great. I got this on sale and I used this on my $20 makeup challenge as my foundation. I must say that this was and deep is a little bit on the darker side for me, but I didn't mind it at all. On days that I would be lazy to go on use liquid foundation, I would just like leave all these marks wherever I think I need, you know, those areas that definitely need help. I would use my e.l.f. powder brush and I would just go blend, blend, blend all over and then use a concealer because it is a teeny little bit darker. Actually, it's, it matches me right now. A few months ago, I'm probably in winter time, I don't know if I'll be using this, but definitely hands down it was worth trying it and I would definitely also recommend it. Okay, this is I think ranges between 11 or 12 dollars. I got this on sale and it was like I think four dollars which it paid off. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm going to talk about is foundations that I have been wearing for the last few months. I think I will start first with um, 
my Mali foundations. Now I have actually ordered this in the beginning of the year and this is the Mali Ultimate Performance Liquid Foundation in the color tan. Well first of all I love the packaging, it's pink and cute and chic and it has a pump so it makes it much easier and it's not as messy even though it's kind of messy there but you know it's all good actually i got this on a kit at the beginning of the year and it was called mali fierce face in five minutes six piece color collection which if you go to qvc.com right now they sell it for 72 dollars and 50 cents that included the shipping and handling and it does come with the foundation an eyeshadow stick, an eyeliner, a lip gloss, um, mascara, and a little uh, cosmetic makeup bag. If you guys want are interested on it, I can definitely put the link down below so you guys can check it out. And they also have also um, a video demonstration so you guys can see how it looks on different models, on different skin tones. It has a medium to full coverage, which I totally dig that because I don't have the prettiest skin tone complexion and what she says it does it says it delivers a natural looking complete coverage uh, coverage quickly it says it's gonna give you a natural looking look while helping to soften areas of pores fine lines and wrinkles about the pores i have like ginormous pores especially in this area it's like a upside down triangle that i have but i think it does a pretty good job about it it just does not have spf uh, <laughs> spf 20 but this makeup by Melly, which is Portless Perfection Glowing Foundation in Tan, does have SPF 20. You can see it's kind of messy. Here's a powder foundation that comes with a mirror. And here, it comes with a little sponge. You just have to press here. So you lift this up. And there you go. I only used it a couple of times, but she does say that if you have some like stubborn like areas and that you really need to conceal you can use this oh my god <laughs> so what you can do is you can wet the sponge a little bit and like really kind of go over those areas that you really need you know to be concealed as much as you can and i use this as my setting powder i would say after i use my liquid foundation and I have been loving both of them. I have been using this a lot. It says that it comes with a special complexion friendly ingredient called Tamanu, which is a Filipino folk remedy known for beautifying skin. I use my e.l.f. powder brush. I just dab, take off the excess, and then I just start buffing all over it. Next, I'm going to talk about concealers. My bare minerals well rested. I know it's a little bit on the like light side but actually that's the whole point why I liked it because I really have like really horrible dark circles so this would definitely like help conceal everything these two I will use them together now, now in terms of um, eyebrows I got this ultimate wet and wild brow kit right here and I actually purchased this just again for the $20 makeup challenge I wanted to find something that was gonna be on the budget and since I've heard a lot about this I said you know this would be a great excuse to not only use it for the video but also you know for me and so far out of this three thing I mean this comes with the waxing kind of thing and the like two brown like a toby of dark brown shade I think out of both of them I find myself wearing and using this taupey color which I am wearing it right now and I added it with my Maybelline Definer Brow Pencil and also my e.l.f. Brow Gel so actually I've been just finding myself wearing this over and over and over again which I like now in terms of liquid eyeliners I am a sucker for color especially now that we're in summertime maybe even though we're like almost towards the end of it I have been using these liquid eyeliners by Wet n Wild. So here are the colors. There's that that blue indigo color and then this like green aqua color that are so 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 gorgeous. And now what I would do and how I would use this is either either use it by itself if I don't want to do like this whole like you know eyeshadow and wear like two or three eyeshadows at the same time. What I would do is actually I would either use this alone 
or do the black eyeliner first and then the second one on top of the black eyeliner I will use either the blue one or the green one it depends how my mood was it just felt like wearing blue or we wear blue or green and I really like that combination for some reason I totally <laughs> have been you know finding myself grabbing these liquid eyeliners a lot uh, so my next favorites are these babies right here and these are nail polishes that I have been loving so much I actually um, let me see I don't even know which one should I begin with let me just start with this color right here it's a really bright fuchsia color which I totally dig right here and this one is by Bucci nail hardener and it's called Tiffany's tie in the knot gorgeous 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 color I mean I think it was 350 but comes with a lot of a lot of nail polish which I love and next would be another wet and wild I love their collection the mega last salon nail color they have such beautiful colors and also I like the fact that the brush is actually flat and wide I'm telling you I don't make that much mistakes with this type of brush I love this color and this one is more like a orangey color and it's called Club Havana and also lately and recently I saw this on YouTube uh, Nicole Guerreiro if I'm saying it wrong well, I'm sorry I'm gonna put her link down below if you guys want to check it out I mean she's very well known but this baby does its job like I was so amazed like how fast like I would just, I, I did this today, like within seconds, like my nails were like dry, like it was like 0.1 seconds and it's like, but I'm done, that's it, like I don't have to wait. <laughs> so good and actually one thing also that I noticed that my manicure lasts longer. And I'll be washing the dishes and scrubbing and just working with my hands on the kitchen and, you know, doing dishes and all that stuff. And I'm pretty surprised. But it's called Seche Vite. If I'm saying it wrong, don't worry. I will leave all the information down below, uh, links, whatever it is it that I'm mentioning on this video so it can help you out. And, and also I will tell you where I got it from. I have been loving the combination of these two mascaras and these two are by Rimmel. I mean, I wore the heck out of these mascaras, and particularly this one because I will use this on an everyday basis. Sexy Curves Full Volume and Curve Mascara. On over the weekend, I would actually do a conjunction of this one and also this one which is called Day to Night Define Length intense volume mascara and this comes in two steps one which is length and the second brush which would be for volume I try using this by itself but it can get a little bit clumpy but if I do step one with this one and then I go for second or even third coat with this love the combination of these two definitely recommend them if you guys want to try any Rimmel mascara and last but not least um, I finally finished part three of the trilogy of 50 shades of gray and this one specifically is and oh my god see it's like dusty because like it's been like yeah month 50 shades of freed I know I have said that I probably sound like a broken record but I cannot wait till the movie, I cannot wait till I find out who's gonna be Anastasia and who's going to be Mr. Grey. Okay guys, so that would pretty much conclude this video of my favorites for the month of July and August. I hope you guys liked this video, hope you enjoyed watching it. If you have any questions about any of this products or anything that you wanna you know that you wanna request by all means feel free to leave your questions down below I'll gladly try to respond to them as best as I can and I will see you in the next video Mwah. bye